Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'll be showing you how I built my backyard pier and how I attached it to my telescope mount. We will start at the bottom of the mount. Uh, down here I have two concrete blocks. These are the type of blocks you find on the side of the road. I'll put a picture up now. The concrete blocks are attached to the bottom plate via M10 uh, unthreaded one meter uh, threads or yeah threads I think um, they go down then bend 90 degrees uh, then bend then go like this then bend right here again 90 degrees up and then are secured in place by 10 10 M10 nuts. I have two of them, so one on the left side and one on the right side. Uh, the bottom plate is secured to this middle, the main tube. Uh, this tube and bottom plate and top plate were already welded or yeah, welded in place um, when I bought it. It was 50 bucks for the bottom, main, and top plate in one go. So that was a really good deal. I have filled the main tube with sand to reduce the vibrations. Um, it still is very much there, the vibrations. If I hit it, you'll see it moving. But I have found in imaging with guiding that it isn't that big of a deal because of course you aren't hitting the mount during imaging. Then the top plate is Secured to this plate right here by a 3M10 bolt. I have drilled three holes into this top plate here, here, and here. Um, and they are threaded holes. So I screwed the, these bolts in, then secured the bolts with M10 uh, rings or nuts, and did the same at the top um, with this one. This plate, this uh, the top plate, this one, uh, the orange one, isn't threaded, but there's another nut at the top of it. Then we go to the best part of this pier build, in my opinion, and that is that it's also, the mount is secured to the pier via a disc brake from a car. I got it for free from the car dealership. What I have found is that the size of the disc brake isn't really important to your build. Uh, online what I've read is that the this hole the where it is sitting in has to be exactly six centimeters and it has to be exactly two centimeters high but that's not the case it can be any disc brake for, uh, I would suggest just going to the car dealership and asking for one uh, which is used and they throw away because they just put them in the, the metal bin and they won't ever see it again uh, so you can probably just get it for free or maybe buy it for like 5 euros or something, it's really cheap. Um, uh, the mount is then secured via a M10 bolt because it goes in there, like into the mount itself. Uh, and then it's secured to the orange plate here with an M10 nut. So, it's, so basically if I untighten this one the mount will will come off and and also the disc brake will come off because it isn't secured in any other way apart from this one nut um, if I want to do polar alignment which of course is very important uh, I untighten this one rotate the head of the mount because I don't have a north pack um, I found that it isn't really important someone online also uh, I've read that online that it is very possible to do without the North Pack. Uh, also, you don't have to do it that often, so it isn't really that big of a deal. I wouldn't go the other mile for the North Pack. In my opinion, it's not worth it. To make sure the telescope mount doesn't get wet in the rain, or doesn't get snowed over or anything, or doesn't really have to deal that much with the uh, weather elements, the I have a protection, it is an old bin that I use, I just put it over the scope like this. So as far as I can tell there isn't really any dew uh, building up, 
inside of this little cage because there are small holes here at the bottom so a little bit of breeze can get through and make sure that there's no dew build up thank you for watching if you have any more questions please let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next one please guys